What's up, guys? It's me, the J Man. Welcome to my show. And I'd just like to give you a few updates. Let me fix the camera there. All right. Now, now we get situated. Guess who's gonna be at Destination X? That's right. Yours truly. And not only am I gonna be at Destination X, I'm also gonna be at TNA Impact on Monday night live. So I can't wait. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm gonna have a sign that's gonna say my YouTube address, and it's gonna be say uh, say J Man pointing down. I'll hold it up, and if you see me, uh, I want to hear it. I want you to send me a message or a comment or something. Just let me know. Look for me in the crowd if, you, if you're gonna watch the pay per view. If you're gonna watch on Monday night, look for me in the audience. So. Having said that, I'm really excited about being there. Um, it's my first TNA show. Uh, I've never been to a TNA wrestling show. Uh, I've been watching it for quite some time. Of course, I've been watching wrestling forever. But uh, I was usually um, mostly a WWE fan. Um, but TNA wrestling, I'm just starting to really pick up on it. I like it a lot now that they've got Rob Van Dam, Jeff Hardy, all kinds of guys have signed on, and it's just really cool. So I can't wait to check it out. Um, this will be my first wrestling show that I've been to since 2002, so it's major. It's pretty huge, and I'm stoked. I'm pumped. Uh, there's a lot of guys I'm looking forward. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, um, especially Kurt Angle. He's a fantastic performer. He's one of the best uh, athletes in professional wrestling. He puts on five-star matches. Also, AJ Styles, phenomenal, just like his name, obviously. AJ Styles will be there. Can't wait to see him take on Abyss, but uh, probably see him wrestle somebody else on Monday. Mm, obviously, Ric Flair will be there. Of course, Hulk Hogan will be there. I've been a huge Hulk Hogan fan. Sting, I'm also a big Sting fan. I think he'll be on the Monday night show. Probably won't make it to Destination X. But I'm looking forward to see what develops with Sting, um, Rob Van Dam, Jeff Hardy, a uh, bunch of guys. Well, you know who's going to be there, but I'm just saying, I'm pumped. I am, I can't wait. Um, okay, so also something I wanted to fill, fill you guys in on. Um, I've been thinking about TNA, and I've been thinking about the storyline lately. And in reference to Scott Hall and Sean Waltman, okay? Um, you know, the gears in my head have been turning as I've been thinking about them, and I think something fishy is going on. I mean, it seems like someone is behind the scenes calling the shots. Someone's giving them orders, in other words. And I think I know who it is. Um, I got it figured out, I think. Well, we'll have to see, but this is a pretty bold prediction, I'm going to tell you. I think Eric Bischoff is having Hall and Waltman do his dirty work. Secretly, I think he's controlling them. Um, this whole thing with them and Nash, you know, why did they attack Nash, of all people? Like, one of their best friends. Why would they do that? I think it was under the orders of Bischoff, because Bischoff wants to control things. Um, so, this is Bischoff's way of getting them contracts. He orchestrated this whole thing. Even though it didn't look like it, because, you know, he ordered Eric Young to fight X-Pac. Um, I think he's in on it, definitely. But, for this Sunday, um, yeah, the pay-per-view match. Look for Eric Young to turn on Kevin Nash. Now, how epic would that be? How huge. If Eric Young turned on Kevin Nash, cost him the match, you know, joined Pac and Hall... Man, that would shift the focus onto Eric Young. He would be thrust into the spotlight. I think that's a good way to develop his character. You know, make him a heel, give him an angle, and you know, put him in a feud with Kevin Nash. I think that's really interesting. So, anyways, just wanted to run that by you, see what you think. Um, I'm not saying that's 100% sure going to happen, but you know, it's looking that way. Anyhow, um, yeah, um, I can't wait to get to Orlando. And hopefully you guys will see me in the audience. Um, I'll do a report as soon as I get back on everything I saw. 
Um, maybe I'd get some autographs. That would be awesome. And uh, just keep an eye out. And uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.